you take a look at Los Angeles. They like their chances, but this could be a tough game for them. Facing up against a talented roster, they'll have to show that they're the better team. And they've only played them once this season, but that win should give them some confidence heading into tonight, their final matchup. And guys, a chance to sweep the season series here. Of course, that motivation goes both ways. So they'll have to come ready to play, and I expect they will. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. D'Angelo Russell out there with Mayo. Then it's the Prophet. Then there's the Captain. And it's Ingram in at the three slot. Like a ninja is Russell. Sliding inside for the deuce. Eel-like, slippery, smooth, productive. Anthony kicks Joel Quinn. New York moving it around. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And everyone knows that the Knicks have been committed to the triangle offense. Not the easiest offense to run or learn, Greg Anthony, but they are staying with it. And I think for the foreseeable future, that is going to be the plan. I mean, their roster can work with it, but, but it hasn't been easy thus far. You wonder if the offense has simply fallen out of favor due to the up-tempo nature of the modern NBA. And for the Lakers, hugely profitable. And they're always going to be willing to spend big on stars. But with the new luxury taxes, it's harder to outspend other teams now. And meanwhile, they've cut corners in other areas too, guys. I mean, prior to the shortened season in 2011, they laid off scouts, video coordinators, coaches, front office, and training staff. Um, and that's where other teams are investing. Um, looking for an advantage now as the Lakers pull back a little bit. Other teams looking to... Um, infuse more capital into their organization. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Well, I tell you, that's, that, that really sets a bad tone, especially this early. I mean, I'd rather see him commit a hard foul than give him an easy two like that. Show that you're willing to protect the basket. Make him earn it, at least. Russell against Jennings. Outside, Russell uses the glass to finish the layup. Russell's got his second bucket of the night. And slithering inside, D'Lo. That's Russell's length helping him convert against pressure. Outside, Anthony. Pass to Persingas. 14 feet away. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Bucket is good. The captain's got his first points of the game. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. Jennings kicks to Anthony. The dish to Lee. The 10-footer finds the target. For Los Angeles, they've gone 4-4 to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Outside, Russell, and the pass to the Prophet. Outside Mayo. To the inside. Just five to shoot. Here's Hassel. A three-pointer off the mark. Four or five to start the game. That's their first miss. Jennings with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. They now take the lead. O'Quinn's got himself on the board with three there. Masterful ball movement that time by Jennings. A terrific passer with really quick hands. Russell passes to the Prophet. Here's Hassel, the 15-footer. That shot off. Perzingis with the ball. 17 points in his last outing. Jennings kicks to Perzingis. Here's Lee. Rebounded by Hassel. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Mayo, Porzingis with the block. They get it back, and the block shot turns into a shooting foul. So the defensive effort there a bit too much as the officials will send him to the line, and he'll shoot some free throws. Lakers shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. The first free throw is good. And, you know, D'Angelo Russell, a one-and-done player out of my alma mater, the Ohio State University, came into the NBA at only 19 years old, and there were questions about his maturity. He had some friction with teammates, and the coaching staff questioned his seriousness at times. 
I hope he can mature and grow into being a pro quickly because he's got tremendous talent. New York trailing. Jennings dishes to leave. And O'Quinn kicks to Anthony. Ingram with the steal. Russell with a wide open look. The offensive rebound. Porzingis with the block. They recover it. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. That mid-range shot has been a weapon for them up to this point, fellas. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. And the big controversy for Russell, accidentally leaking personal information about his teammate, things got pretty sticky out in Los Angeles. Yeah, definitely a major misstep on the part of Russell, but he uh, has to get right with his teammates now. And we've all done things that we regret. We like to have mulligans on, especially in our youth. So your hope is that he'll learn and grow from it and be able to move on. Outside Mayo. Lakers passing it around. In the corner, it's Ingram. But he gets it back. Outside Mayo, pass to the Prophet. Here's Hassel. Boy, he was something else against Boston. Shot by Mayo is no good. And Brandon Jennings gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Thomas checked in for Brandon Jennings. And slam dunk by Ingram. And at 6'9", Ingram is constantly on the prowl for these dunks. An incredible athlete who just finishes with ease near the hoop. Now, here's O'Quinn. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Thomas a screen. Clock at four. Brzingis kicks to Thomas. Puts up a three. Doesn't go for him. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. It, it really an emphatic win for them, especially considering that it came in an opponent's building. And there's no question it was their offense that carried them. I love the way they went and got this game, Greg. I mean, they attacked at every opportunity, never relaxed or sat back. And as a result, they eventually pulled away. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Ingram. We're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. Now Thomas, he averages about uh, five points a game. Screened by Porzingis. Outside Thomas, passes it to Porzingis. New York needs to get off a shot. New York, no good that time either. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And the shot is good. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And a moment now to check out some of the numbers for Anthony. Putting up about 22 points per eight rebounds and four assists what incredible numbers he has been a beast impossible to guard right now when he's on a roll like this there's not much you can do to stop him Knicks trail by six he feeds it to Thomas Outside, Porzingis, and that's going to be a travel. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You take a look at the Clippers. Quite a season they've assembled here, guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball game in and game out. And, of course, the Lakers, seven games back.
And when I look at the Lakers, there's been such a different feel to them this season. The confidence that was completely absent from last year's squad is back, and they pulled themselves here into contention. Yeah, and it's time to think about making an even bigger jump forward. This is a franchise clearly headed in the right direction. There's Russell with the three. They get the rebound. That one's not going to go. New York's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Anthony, the pass to Lee. Thomas kicks to Porzingis. Anthony on the wing. Shot to stop the drought. And he connects with the jumper. Anthony's got his first points of the game. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. And the Lakers head coach, Luke Walton, played almost his entire career in L.A., winning two titles along the way. Always known for his tremendous IQ for the game. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. Outside Mayo. Outside Russell. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Now here's Lee. What a tremendous game he played against Cleveland. And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. That's his first foul. Joakim Noah is checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Now here's Lee. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for him. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. The Lakers have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. You know, the Lakers had never missed the playoffs in three consecutive seasons in franchise history until last season. Boy, this is a franchise that's clearly unaccustomed to losing basketball games. Outside Anthony, New York moving the ball around. And here is Lee. Here's Kuzminskis, nailed from three-point land. And the last time the Lakers had missed the playoffs in two consecutive seasons was 1976. Well, up to 2013, the Lakers had only missed the playoffs five times total in the 65 years of the team's history. Now it's three seasons in a row for a franchise with so much very justified pride. It's got to be tough to handle and swallow. Now the Lakers on the break. Unloads from nine. Kept alive. Here's Collins. He with the block. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Tries again and gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. And, you know, it's been a long time coming to be able to say this, but I'm starting to sense some hope and optimism with this Knicks basketball team. I mean, they're in a good spot financially. Uh, they're going to have flexibility in terms of filling out that roster and then you've got a core of young talent that is exciting the fan base and which you can build around he doesn't get the second one 
And for the Knicks and their positive outlook, when New York has a Knicks team that they love, that can capture the hearts of the entire city. And, and, and you have some of the most diehard fans in the world wearing Knicks colors. No doubt about it. You can see the team also has improved the ball movement and the team play in the last couple seasons. Knicks are starting to become a team that is exciting to watch. Gentlemen, win or two lose. shots. Loose shot. He misses the free throw. And he ends up missing both free throws. Lakers leading by four. The pass to Cobb. Here's Collins. A three-pointer no good. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. Thomas with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. At the elbow, Lee. To the wing right side. Lock at six. And here's Anthony from the arc does not score again that's his fourth miss against one make no doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring and he's good on the three ball and, and no matter who it is that kind of d isn't going to get it done as to Kuzminskis and Silk gets the whistle that time that's his first foul Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. The Knicks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. You know, their percentage has dropped off just a little bit compared to Take last year, guys. Take but it's not a Two huge shots. drop off, so no major concern. first free throw is good and you know you think about the Lakers fan base of 16 million this team is a national phenomenon they're one of the most popular teams in the country in any sport estimated to be the second most valuable franchise in the league after the New York Knicks he makes one of two that time and even with the Lakers struggling to win games, you can bet whenever a big-name free agent hits the market, Lakers can almost always get a meeting. Yeah, typically they're going to be in that discussion, uh, and they keep their checkbook open just for that reason. I mean, the lure of the big market, the bright lights of L.A., endorsement opportunities, uh, it all holds a certain allure uh, in this day and age. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Baker, he's checked in for the Knicks. Knicks trail by six. Outside Anthony. To the middle. Baker with the bucket. Baker's got his first basket of the night. And he'll take it right into the teeth of the D without thinking twice about it. 55 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Cobb. They get it back. Goldman. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. While we have a break, we can see which teams have made the most of their second chance opportunities over the last 10 games. The Lakers, number one. I mean, you love their aggressiveness, not settling for one shot offensively, but really running down those loose boards and, and converting for extra points.
That free throw missing, and New York making a change here. Pujicic has checked in. And he's good on the second. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Kicks it to Lee. Anthony dishes to Lee. Got a hand on it. Here's Silk. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. It's good. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Vujicic kicks to Lee. Noah the screen. Kuzminskis the pass to Carmelo. On the mark with the 15-footer. There's 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's the screen. the second quarter beginning in just a moment and what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one a lot of times the team that owns the paint is going to come away with the victory and that's what they've done here thus far yeah why change the plan until they make you and that's where they should continue to attack moving forward going inside they've got Noah Lee out there with Jennings and it's Kuzminskis in at the three so that's who's on the floor for the Knicks there's son of Kitsy. The Knicks pull it in. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. Deadly from behind the three-point line in that game, and it really gave them the ability, I felt, to stretch that defense out. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, it opened things up for them in a big way. The defense was never able to string together any stops or get comfortable. And here is Los Angeles now, after New York gets the three. Goldman, the basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Just a beautiful read by the former Buckeye, Russell. So gifted at making those decisions. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. The Lakers have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. And the feeling with D'Angelo Russell in Lakerland is that he has all-star potential. Very competent. A lot of swagger. He embraces the big stage, and he has tremendous offensive skill. And, Kevin, I would agree with all of that because we watched him in college. He's a very good shooter, um, really good pick-and-roll player. He's got an excellent IQ for the game at the offensive end. And because of all of that, I think he can be quite dangerous as an offensive player. Now here's Jennings. 20 points for him last game against Cleveland. And how about the extraordinary display of his passing in that game? He was making all the right decisions and had their offense humming. The Prophets checked in for the Lakers. The Knicks shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. And the one thing that Jennings gives this team is speed. He's got tremendous speed, whether it's the quick release or his authoritative takes to the basket. Now here's Ingram. An 11-point game for him in the win against Boston. And he also chipped in with a couple blocks in that game. Just a hint at the impact he had on the defensive side. Just five on the clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Outside Jennings. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It goes on Brandon Ingram. Well, you have to be sharp and careful when you're guarding Jennings. I mean, he's a shoot-first kind of player that causes a lot of pressure for the defense, keeps constant pressure on the D. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. 
two shots. That one is off. Lance Thomas, he's checked in for Noah. That one is no good. Lakers leading by five. Lakers passing it around. Three-pointer. No good. He has missed three of his five attempts this game. New York's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Now Jennings. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Shot clock at five. Hernan Gomez passes to Jennings. Pulls it up. And play stops as it looks like they call it over the back here. Yeah, a bit over eager right there. Left his feet too early. Yeah, and if you're already boxed out like he was, just back up. Because if you don't, you're going to get called for the over the back foul every time. Here's Redding. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Russell with the bucket. Wow, that's that's real nice. I mean, D'Angelo really sets before he gets into a shot. Good use of pace there. Inside, Castle shots good. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. And really, he's just done a great job of finding the open man every trip down. Boy, it sure has seemed as though he's done it every time. It's been an awesome display of passing for him today. Not really sure what he was thinking about on that shot. That is not high IQ basketball. Not at all. I mean, he shouldn't even have considered taking that shot. Just a poor, poor choice there. Now let's take a look at how the shots have been divided up between three-point shots and two-point shots for New York. They are shooting the lights out from beyond on really limited attempts. So you, you have to think they ought to feed those hot hands on the perimeter and see if they can keep this thing going. The Lakers have made two-thirds of their free throws tonight. Six of nine to be exact. And the first one at the line is good. He hits both from the stripe. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Time out, time yeah, out. you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. Started. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. New York calls timeout. Way too many shots in close. And he's got to get his guys to cut that down in terms of points in the paint. Clearly the reason for the timeout, Greg. I mean, he wants his guys to toughen up inside and start protecting the rim. Green by Lee. Left side Jennings. Picked off in midair. Here's Redding. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Russell with it. And Jennings picks him up defensively. The drive by Russell. And that one is off. Great D that time from Jennings. Lee outside. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Outside Jennings. To end the run. The Lakers with the rebound. The captain's got his third rebound on the night. Outside Russell. To the inside. The profit. Good and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got six assists in the game. Bit of an oversized playmaking guard allows Russell to see over and around defenders. Great look there. Now here's Thomas. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. 
Jennings dishes to Lee. Shot clock at six. Jennings kicks to Lee. Here's Endor. New York, no good that time either. Really tough for this group right now, trying anything to stop the run. And no matter what they've tried, it hasn't worked. I think they've just got to slow it down, idle it back, and, and get back to the basics. Now, here is Russell. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. And he finishes nicely on time the way. Timeout, timeout. Russell's got four points this quarter. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Both teams will make substitutions. The Knicks have gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. It's back to Jennings. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And taking a look here at some numbers for Mayo. His last 10 games, he's putting up about 14 points a night, two assists, and two rebounds. And those numbers, solid, not spectacular. And, and sometimes what you see is what you get. He certainly knows his role, and he gives you some good minutes. That's really all you can expect from him at this point. Shooting two. The first one falls. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Brandon Jennings hits them both. And here's the Lakers. They're on a 16-5 run here. Passes it to Hassel. Outside Mayo. The feed to Russell. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And the first one drops. And, you know, a lot of people are starting to wonder, is Russell going to be the future of this league? Time will tell. That's a big mountain to climb for the young fella from Louisville. And so Russell hits them both. Knicks trail by 15. Porzingis with a screen on Russell. And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. And that'll be his third foul so far. And already... His third foul. It's got to be time to get him out of there probably until the third quarter. Lee passes to Jennings. Back to Lee. New York moving the ball around. Stolen away. Excellent anticipation there. He was laying in the cut, we say. Ingram. And it's good. Pop through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And really, guys, his percentage from the line at 70 isn't quite up to snuff. And Ingram, the former Blue Devil, an extraordinary player who only promises to get better and better. Now here's Jennings. He has five. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Outside, Russell. No one near Mayo as he lets it go. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Mayo's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Outside, Jennings. There's the pass to Persingas. Here's O'Quinn. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Nice piece of work there. Get yourself a little space and pull the trigger. 
And one thing about Christoph Porzingis, you, you know he can overcome adversity. I mean, he was booed heavily on draft day for not being the selection the fans wanted. And you know what? Didn't let it bother him and didn't take it personal. All he did was go out and win over every fan of the New York Knicks imaginable. And he made a few more. Just a spectacular rookie campaign. And I just tell you guys, the sky is the limit for this young man. Oh, Quinn can't hit. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Russell kicks to Mayo. Back to Russell. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And for Brzingis getting booed on draft day, that can leave a sour taste in a lot of players' mouths, but he understood it, and he just uses it as motivation. Kevin, give him credit. A lot of players may let that distract them or de detract from who they are, but not Porzingis. That exciting plague, though, quickly won over any critics he may have had. That free throw, no good. Anthony's checked in for New York. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Knicks trail by 18. Lee dishes to Jennings. Screened by Porzingis. Jennings with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. It's tipped. Tries to keep it alive. Shot clock at six. Anthony. Kept alive. Feeds it to Jennings. Pass to Porzingis. Down low. And a wide open look for Lee. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Nice, accurate pass right into the middle. Outside, Russell. There's a good screen. And a fast break now for New York. Jennings leading the charge. It's good. Lee's got eight points. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Dishes it to Russell, tries to snap the cold streak, and he drops that one in. And the Lakers lead by 16. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Lee kicks to Anthony. Here's Russell. Goes back up. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Attacking on the drive and that's going to give Russell some free throws this time. So far tonight he's gone four of six at the line. And his free throws are falling at a rate of only about 72% on the season. Not terrible, but listen, you obviously would expect him to do better. Guys, he's slightly fallen off his pace from a year ago at the line, and uh, those points from the stripe have been a little harder to come by. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And love how he's getting himself to the line this quarter. If he keeps it up, it'll end up creating some foul problems on the other side. And that can always help a team's cause. Way to attack there and then create the contact. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. The Knicks have missed out on some chances at the line today. 0-6 of 11. And he knocks down the first one. Take a look at what Lee's done. Nine points and one rejection in this game, too. <laughs> and was it a good one? Really, one of their highlights of the game, defensively. And both free throws good for Lee. 
Lakers leading by 15. Dolman covered by Noah. A shot by Collins, no good. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Yep, it counts. Lee's got 12 in the game. He's got it going here in the second, gaining momentum as this game continues to go. And here is Los Angeles now. They led the game at one point by 20. They set the pick. There's the dish to Collins. Good on the triple. And the Lakers lead by 16. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Anthony against Collins. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Passes it to Sonic Hitsy. And a miss there on the triple. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And here is the shot chart as we see how things are going. Well, they say the mid-range game is a dying art form, but, but after looking at this shot chart, they are injecting a ton of life into it. Whatever space is being offered up to them in the mid-range, they have accepted and have continually knocked down shots to make the defense pay. That free throw good from Thomas. And both free throws good for Thomas. 152 left here in the second. There's a good screen. Ohio in the pass to Collins. No good off the front iron. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag him. Some nice passing by New York here. Back to Anthony. Right wing. Here's Kuzminskis. New York, no good that time either. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. For New York, they have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. 102 left in the second quarter. They set the pick. The pass to Sonic Hitsy. Kicks to Collins. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Knicks trail by 13. Now here's Lee. He's got 12. Anthony on the wing. He's guarded by Collins. Lakers leading by 13. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. They set the pick. Here's Silk, covered by Anthony. Ohio hits it from three-point range. Six points for him. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. 
Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. No other screen, and the call That's is going to be... Yes, That's yes, me. it is. An illegal screen. And the idea of setting a screen on that play was right, but just poor execution. Yeah, it just can't be a hard screen at all costs. There is a legality to how you set a screen, so you've got to be inside of both lines, legal and hard. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Lakers lead by 16. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Boy, it was rough down there in the paint, and they were just dominant, taking it to the rack. But that's what you have to be willing to do, take the action to the heart of the competition without any fear. That's why this is already a blowout. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? They rely way too heavily on three-point shot in the first half. Their long-range game was off. That's my off sound, Ernie. They were off. But they still settle for the outside shots. They got to put more pressure on the defense by pounding it inside and attacking the basket. Lakers leading by 16. Starting off the second half, here's Luke Walton's five. They've got Ingram. The captain out there with the profit. Then it's Mayo. And it's Russell in at the one spot. And Ingram the bucket on the assist by Russell. And that's now nine points for Brandon Ingram. Gotta like seeing Ingram get going down underneath the rim. Just another dimension of his game that he continues to develop. Now here's Porzingis. Out to the right wing. Ingram wide open. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. O'Quinn's got four rebounds in this game. Outside Jennings. Back to Anthony. Six to shoot. Fires the three. Here's Persingas. Rebound the Lakers. The Prophets got double digit rebounds now in the game. Mayo kicks to Russell. He dishes it to Ingram. Outside, Russell pass to the Prophet. Porzingis with the steal. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Porzingis. And let's take this opportunity to show you the most productive rookie rebounders of the last 10 games. Look at the Prophet. No doubt one of the most efficient rebounders in the game. And, of course, the captain. He's also having a tremendous season rebounding the ball. They're on a rebounding roll, these two. I mean, their work on the glass of late has them in very select company. I tell you what, you're talking about two young bucks who have a lot to prove, and they're starting on the boards. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Mayo's got six points. And if you allow Mayo breathing room from downtown, you're going to pay dearly for it. He really knows how to knock down these outside shots. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Looking to end his cold spell. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. He's got six. Lakers leading by 19 points. And, and, and watching Melo, you can just see how his game has grown since when he came into the league. I mean, still a, as great a scorer as you're going to find. But he's doing so much now in terms of his passing and, and his defense. I mean, visibly much more of an impact on the floor in other facets. And I think that's a credit to his maturation and the reason why there's some optimism for the Knicks. The shrewdness of Jennings really hard to defend against. I mean, he's magnificent at drawing contact and getting his shots to go down through contact. Five attempts for him at the line tonight. He's made three. And that one falls for Jennings. Look at the game for Brandon Jennings. He has eight points, and he's managed to get four of his points by way of the free throw line. And, and Clark, that might not make the highlight reel, but those are important points nonetheless. And it's Russell missing. Knicks trail by 16. Jennings passes to Persingas. 
Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Anthony. And the shot falls short this time. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Outside Mayo. Here's the profit. And it's off from three-point range. Knicks have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Pass to Lee. It's stolen by Mayo. And it's Russell in the corner. Hits the three-point bomb. Russell's got 18 points. Really putting on some kind of show here is D'Angelo. This is what Time everybody out. on Time that out. team wants to see more Sorry. and more of from him. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, and that was a night where they just didn't seem to be the type of team that we've grown accustomed to seeing. I mean, it was more about them being individuals on the floor than the collective unit. Guys, I think it was simply a vacuum of leadership. Uh, nobody really gathered the team and tried to rally them or pull them together. Uh, you know, that was most disappointing about the loss to me. And here is Lee after D'Angelo Russell hitting the three. Lee dishes to Anthony. He gets it in there. He's got eight. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. The feed now to Ingram. He kicks it to Mayo. Pass to the Prophet. Six on the shot clock. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And here's a look at some numbers for the Prophet. The past month has been surreal. First in rebounding, 14th in steals, and with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands, and he converts at a remarkable rate. And, you know, just going back real quick to the fact that he rebounds so well, I mean, that's a tremendous feat. He's a monster in the paint. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. Talk about some great numbers for the Prophet. He's got 12 rebounds and a steal. And we really just need to take a second to appreciate the all-around effort he's put out there today. Well, the numbers paint the picture, and he has been what we call in my vernacular, you know where I'm going here, guys, <laughs> stat sheet stuffer Good. supreme. <laughs> Oh, Supreme. So that takes it to a whole uh, nother yeah, level yeah. when you get Supreme in it, terms of it, your stats. And Kellogg's, right? And yes. Kellogg's. Now here's Anthony. Eight points for him. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks as New York retains possession. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Fortunate to get it through. I thought he was headed the other way with that one. Set up, set it up. Bring the play in. Jennings kicks to Lee. The shot's good on the assist by Jennings. Jennings has got three assists tonight. Los Angeles leading by 17. Here's Redding. Clanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And the Knicks with possession here. They host the Clippers after this game. And that'll be the middle game of their five in their longest homestand of the year. Jennings kicks to Anthony. Jennings passes to Hernan Gomez. Bucket is good. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. And that's been their focus, it seems, throughout the game. I like the discipline that they've showed in terms of creating those opportunities on the inside. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. And, and you need the defense to stop the bleeding. Here's Redding. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Taking a look at Cleveland. Quite a season they've assembled here, guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball game in and game out. And, of course, the New York Knicks, nine and a half games behind.
And I think for the Knicks, they fought awfully hard this season, and they've got the results to show for it. It's been a breakout year for this group. Yeah, but their work is far from finished, Greg. You know that. Their success in the regular season oh, is all well and good, but that'll be forgotten if they don't make a run in the postseason. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. Here's Anthony. He's got eight. Go, Outside, Brzingis. Back to Anthony. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Anthony's got six here in this quarter. That's really the area where they'd like all of their shots to come from. Outside, Mayo. Back to Russell. Shot clock at five. That's tipped. Lee with the steal. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Collins checked in for the Lakers. Now here's Anthony. Ten points for him. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint, but the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggressiveness. Silks checked in for the Lakers. And for Carmelo Anthony, one thing that he doesn't get enough credit for is, Greg, his rebound. Yeah, and Melo's never been a bad rebounder, but in the past few seasons, you can see he's emphasized that more. More active in terms of closing out on possessions, has a great base and wide shoulders to secure position on the box out. Here's Lee after the basket by Los Angeles. Here's Kuzminskis. He has seven. Six to shoot. So far in the game for Anthony, he's got 13 points and several assists. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Lakers. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. That free throw good from Anthony. And the Lakers making a change here. Both free throws good from Anthony. Lakers leading by 16. In the corner, Mayo with it. And another three for the Lakers. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. Now here's Mayo. Nine points in the game so far. And here's Jennings, the fast break opportunity. Courtney Lee is on the wing. Puts it up from 17. Shots good by Hernan Gomez. Yeah, it's just a smart shot taking advantage of the mismatch. Well, with a stroke like that and the height advantage as well, the mid-range J is almost a gimme. Here's Silk. 
No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And Brandon Jennings gets the whistle that time. That's his fifth foul. That's really a tough call. One you don't like to see, but it was called, and now he's got to really make sure that he's on top of his game here in regards to not picking up another foul. That was his fifth right there. And the Lakers have possession. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Anthony on the wing. Collins grabs the miss. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. A three-pointer off the mark. Knicks trail by 17. Feeds it to Jennings. Pulls up from the corner. The Lakers with the rebound. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. Looks like he was trying to go for a degree of difficulty points on that shot. Here is Jennings. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. There's the screen. Dishes at Danoa. New York moving the ball around. And the pass to Kuzminskis. It's back to Jennings. Pass to Kuzminskis, looking for Anthony, and gets it there. That's good from 17 feet away. Anthony's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Ingram passes to Cobb. Misses off the right iron. New York's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. The dish to Noah. Noah with a screen for Jennings. Back to Noah. And finished off by Noah. Man, I love the vision of Brandon Jennings, especially off the screen and rolls. I mean, he's not only a danger to pull up and knock down the jump shot, but he'll hurt you with his passing, too. So it's the Lakers now. The lead is 15. Ohio covered by Anthony. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That is his first foul of the game. Silk passes to Sonikitsi. That one good for two. And the Lakers lead by 17. And an open path to the hoop there. Easy bucket. We've seen that far too many times today. Yeah, yeah, it's just been far too soft. Not much fight being shown by the defense there. And boy, that's hard to watch, quite honestly. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hassel's checked in. That free throw good from Anthony. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Now here's Ingram. Collins passes to Cobb. Clock at six. Here's Ingram. The rebound by Noah. Noah's got five rebounds tonight. 136 left in the third quarter. Collins against Anthony. New York, no good that time either. Lakers leading by 14. Collins passes to Cobb. This is his first free throw of the game. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
Kevin, right now, they're doing a good job at the line. They're, they're hovering around 83, 84, 85% from the strike. Um, that's good stuff. I mean, that's, um, that's well done. Here's Noah. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Noah's got four points now in the quarter. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Good on the bucket. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. It's stolen. And they're running. Here's Collins. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Noah's got six rebounds here tonight. Frozen. Guys just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. And that one's good, Ingram. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Anthony. 20 points for him. Noah, the screen, lets the three fly. The Lakers with the rebound. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit, where they'll face the Pistons. And that game will be four out of five on the road for the team. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Knicks trail by 20. A moment now to reset the lineups. Brought to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Kyle Quinn out there with Noah. Then it's Lee. Then there's Jennings. And it's Kuzminskas in at the three spot. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Russell passes to the Prophet. Lakers working the ball around now. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. The Knicks shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Passes to Kuzminskis. He feeds it to Jennings. And stolen by Russell. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Boy, I tell you what, Russell is a problem out there. D'Angelo with the anticipation to flick it away and then kick off the fast break. Outside Jennings. Back to Lee. It's deflected. Noah dishes to Lee. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. The Prophets got rebound number 12 here already in the game. From the stripe, goes back up. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And he makes the first. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. The Knicks making a switch here. Prozingis has checked in. So he gets them both. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. They set the screen. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And that's now 11 points for Brandon Jennings. Boy, one of the things that makes Jennings so tough is his remarkable ability to get the shot he wants off pick and roll. His jump shot is pure and lethal. 
and defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And the Knicks good for two. And you know what? He's shaking off the cold shooting performance from the first half. Outside, Russell. Now the pass to the prophet. But three. Shot by Collins, no good. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Sinks it. And the shot from Persingas. And when he's got that much of a height advantage on the perimeter, it's really tough on the defender. Easy three-pointer. Mayo kicks to Collins. Trying to break that ice-cold streak, and the layup is good. And the Lakers lead by 18. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Screen by Porzingis. Jennings with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. You've got to get your body between that other player and the ball. Mayo, good, and the assist goes to Russell. And 11 points for O.J. Mayo. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Jennings with the bucket. There's no denying that Jennings has a nice jump shot. You've got to play up on him or he'll make you pay. Outside, Russell. Kicks to Collins. Buries the long-range jumper. Collins has got five points in the quarter. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Jennings passes to Persingas. It's picked off. Pass to the Prophet. Here's Hassel. Outside Mayo. Six to shoot. Here's Russell. That shot misses. The Knicks go the other way with it. And stolen by Russell. Pass to Collins. And it's Russell in the corner. Here's Hassel. He dishes it to Collins. Here's the profit, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul goes against New York. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. Knicks trail by 21. Lee dishes to Jennings. Here's Kuzminskis. But he stays with it. Lee kicks to Jennings. They set the pick. To the middle. Here's O'Quinn. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Fires from 14. Rzingis with the steal. Here's Kuzminskis. Rebounded by Hassel. The captain's got his fifth rebound in this one. Hustle with it. And Jennings picks him up defensively. And again, the Lakers no good. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. To the paint, here's the profit. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two.
Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That one is off. Carmelo Anthony, he's checked in for New York. He hits the second from the line. Knicks trail by 20. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Outside, Brzingis to the paint. Anthony can't hit. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Knicks trail by 21. Jennings for three. Jennings with another miss. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Russell against Jennings. Takes the 13 footer. No good off the back of the rim. And good defense there uh, to play up and get a hand in the face. Well, he's got a tough mindset. He's confident as a defender. And when you combine those two things, it makes it real hard to score on him. And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Ingram, he's checked in for Collins. On defense, the Lakers. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter's face and then go and corral that backboard. Here's Mayo. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. The Knicks have gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Trains it from beyond the arc. That's 12 points for Perzingis. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. Yeah, how about the versatility? of Ingram just remarkable at putting the ball in the hoop in really a variety of ways passes it to Persingas and there's the feed to Carmelo and it's Anthony again missing Lakers leading by 20 Russell passes to Hess that one wide left New York's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. The pass to the Prophet. Takes the 13-footer. Good, he hits the jump shot. The Prophet's got 20 points. And here's Jennings. Outside, Porzingis. And it's off from three-point range. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Pass to the Prophet. Seven-foot shot. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. O'Quinn. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Joakim Noah is checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Shooting two. Okay. 
And the first one drops. He's off on the second. And for the Knicks, they're shooting 40% in the fourth. Shoots from 12. Noah dishes to Jennings. And stolen by Russell. Pass break. The Lakers pulls up. Count it. Number five from the four this game. He's now five of 11. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Outside Jennings. He kicks it to Carmelo. That falls. Great assist by Brandon Jennings. Jennings has got assist number eight here in this one already. Passes it to the Prophet. Here's Hassel. The pass to the Prophet. Russell kicks to Ingram. And here's Mayo from the arc. It's rebounded by Noah. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. It's the Knicks now. And stolen by Mayo. To the paint. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Noah. Here's Anthony. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. First one falls for him. Both free throws good from Anthony. Lakers leading by 20. Pass to the Prophet. Here's Hassel, guarded by Porzingis. Feeds it to Russell. Pass to Hassel. In the corner, it's Ingram. Six on the shot clock. And slam dunk by Ingram. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Here's Anthony. It's deflected. In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. I mean, his long reach really allows him to come up with a good number of blocks. There's 138 left in the game. Los Angeles leading by 22. Passes to Ohio. Here's Redding. The Lakers working the ball around now. Steps back and fires. That shot misses. The Knicks shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Lakers. 
And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. And Greg, that's a nice feeling to get the sweep. Even though it is a small number, still nice to get that sweep. And a great team effort, but still, what an individual performance for Russell. He affected the game so much with the way he was able to come out and get steals and extra possessions for his team. The Knicks making a switch here. Vujicic has checked in. And there's the pass to the Prophet. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. Count that one. Well, if it wasn't out of reach, it is now thanks to that last little spurt. And why put the brakes on now? I just say keep on letting it fly. Here's Anthony. He gets that one. Really just a tremendous day for him. And if you remember, he was just as good in their last game. Yeah, I haven't forgotten, but I mean, what a pair of back-to-back -back performances we're seeing. Awesome. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. D'Angelo Russell. His performance was absolutely phenomenal tonight. Not only did he rack up a double-double, he inspired everyone around him to come up with plays for the win. Very solid from the floor tonight. Hit on over half of his shot attempts. So he was able to push the action but still be efficient. The team rolled that effort all the way to the bank. It was a great game for him, Ernie, and this one he really needed. As bad as he's looked lately, it was important to build up that confidence again and have a big night.